All stations tack, launch vulnerability window starts now. Doctor inactive. Fireball, 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 track 80112. Air tack, attack level 2 warning at uh, 5 0 knock them off. All stations, Captain, this is me, badge release, SM3. Killing track 6030 Eagle. Attack eye, break air, kill track 6027, birds. Copy, birds away. All stations tagged, biz is red. Mark India. Mark India. Mark India. Mark India. Mark India, 6027, birds. Stellar Hunters FDM-11 continued testing the Navy-certified Aegis BMD 3.6 engagement configuration, assessing retention of Aegis multi-mission AAW capabilities. Testing of the Aegis BMD 3.6 weapon system is progressing from an engineering focus to how the warfighter uses this new Aegis weapon system configuration. Intelligence overlay scenarios mapped to potential operating areas were used during the events. Also, a satellite data link to BMDS assets provided the ships with situational awareness for the event scenarios. The Pacific Missile Range Facility provided support and launch facilities throughout testing. Three ships participated in Stellar Hunters, Aegis Cruiser USS Lake Erie CG-70, and Aegis Destroyer USS Hopper DDG-70, with both ships operating in the Aegis BMD 3.6 configuration, and the Dutch Royal Netherlands Navy Air Defense Command frigate HNLMS Tromp F-803. A number of firsts were achieved during Stellar Hunters. Simultaneous engagements using both SM-3 and SM-2 missiles fire rings from a BMD 3.6 certified Aegis weapon system, forward VLS SM-3 firing, lowest and shortest range SM-3 ballistic missile intercept, DDG 3.6 missile firing, and fire authorized bypass enabled for SM-3 firing. The first two events were conducted in November. In Event 1 Alpha, both Lake Erie and Hopper detected tracked and engaged a BQM-74 low-elevation subsonic AAW target. The BQM-74 target was directed so that Lake Erie fired its SM-2 Block 3A missile first, intercepting the BQM within the missile's kill radius. Hopper then engaged the BQM-74 with its own SM-2 Block 3A, again successfully intercepting the BQM AAW target. This marked the first missile firing from a DDG, operating with Aegis BMD 3.6. Also, gun engagement handover capability was successfully demonstrated by both ships against the BQM targets. For Event 1 Bravo, a BQM-74 mounted an electronic attack against the ships. Lake Erie and Hopper searched, detected, and tracked the BQM-74 target, conducting both simulated SM-2 missile and GWS gun engagements against the BQM-74. An improved separating ARAV-B medium-range ballistic missile target was used in Event 2. Both 3.6 ships detected, tracked, and conducted simulated SM-3 engagements and intercepts of the nose tip after target separation. Joining the Aegis ships was the Dutch frigate Tromp, which, along with target detection and tracking, conducted a line-of-sight link exercise, receiving radar tracks from Hopper. Event 3, the FTM-11 firing mission, was conducted on 7 December. All ships, Lake Erie, Hopper, and Tromp, detected and tracked the TTV target. Lake Erie was configured to launch its SM-3 with auto BMD doctrine. But the test wasn't completed due to an incorrect system setting aboard Lake Erie. 
This prevented the fire control system aboard the ship from launching the first of its two interceptor missiles. The test was rescheduled as Event 4, conducted in April 2007, with Lake Erie participating alone. Event 4's purpose was to show in a live event that Aegis BMD can conduct near simultaneous engagements of both ballistic missile and AAW targets. Additionally, a Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD, ground-based X-band radar on PMRF gathered radar data on the ballistic missile along with receiving Aegis radar tracks through Link 16. A BQM-74 simulating a hostile AAW target was launched first by a G-1 aircraft on a vector path towards Lake Erie. As the BQM continued in flight, a short-range ARAV-A ballistic missile was launched from PMRF. Lake Erie detected, tracked, and engaged both the ARAV-A and BQM targets. An SM-3 Block 1A was fired first from a forward cell of its VLS to intercept the ARAV-A. The ARAV-A flew the shortest range and lowest trajectory to date against Aegis BMD, resulting in a compressed engagement envelope of about three minutes from launch to intercept. With the short timeline, Lake Erie engaged the ARAV-A with Auto BMD doctrine and fire authorized bypass enabled where Aegis BMD computed the proper time to fire the SM-3 and fired without sailor initiation. Lake Erie then engaged the incoming BQM AAW target by firing an SM-2 Block 3A from its aft VLS. Two targets, one ballistic missile, one AAW, both destroyed. Evaluations were also made on the Aegis Weapon System Kill Assessment and the Missile Downlink System Test Bed. Throughout the Stellar Hunters campaign, Aegis multi-mission capabilities were put to the test. With repeated demonstrated success, Aegis BMD 3.6 brings a new mission area to Aegis and the Navy, Ballistic Missile Defense from the Sea. Fifteen other Aegis BMD ships will soon join Lake Erie assigned to the Pacific Fleet, providing defensive ballistic missile engagement capabilities in an unsettled world.